adding a student orientation quiz to your Blackboard Learn course site. We've provided a uh, question pool from which you can make such a quiz. You can start by accessing our website at www.sdccdonline.net and going to the faculty resources link and accessing our Blackboard Learn 9.1 tutorials. You will find the link to download the pool under miscellaneous tutorials on that page and uh, just click where it says download the needed question pool. Save that file to your hard drive in a convenient location. The desktop is fine. and return to your Blackboard course. Access your question pools under Course Tools in the Control Panel, Tests, Surveys and Pools, and Pools. Select Import Pool and browse your computer. Find the saved zip file containing the pool and click Open. Then click Submit. Once the pool import is complete, you can create your orientation quiz. In this case, we'll create the quiz under Assessments. by mousing over assessments and selecting test. We'll create a new test there are 20 questions in the pool that you've just imported. We suggest that you mouse over reuse questions and create a question set. When you first enter the Create Question Set screen, all of the questions that you have in all of your question pools and old tests will be displayed. You can limit the display of questions to just the questions in the Student Orientation Question Pool by first clicking on Pools here and selecting just that pool. You may also have to uncheck uh, an option here that says All Tests. And you should have 20 questions to choose from. We suggest selecting them all by clicking on the Master Selection box in the uh, header bar at the top of the display and then clicking Submit. This creates a question set which will randomly pull a specified number of questions from this pool, providing a different set of questions to each student. You'll have to decide the number of questions you want to pull from the 20. We're suggesting 10, but that is, of course, up to you. And you might want to change the points per question to maybe one. That's entirely up to you again, of course. All right, so each student will now get 10 questions for a point value of one point per question, giving a total of 10 points for the test. If I OK that, I can now deploy that test into the assessments folder by simply making sure that it's selected in this add text list here and clicking submit. You'll be asked to set test options such things as do you want the test to be available you have to say yes there. Um, you can allow multiple attempts and unlimited attempts if you like or not it's up to you. I would not set force completion. The 
timer may or may not be necessary. That's up to you. You can set date availability, a due date at, uh, if you wish, and feedback options. We'd probably recommend setting all of the feedback options, but again, that's up to you. You can display the test questions all at once or one at a time. Uh, there's no need to randomize questions because they're already being pulled randomly from a test pool. And then submit. The test will now be ready for your students to take. Uh, you can choose to make this a part of your grading scheme or not, as you prefer. You can uh, also use adaptive release, if you wish, to make all or part of your course unavailable until the student passes the student orientation quiz by whatever standard you set. If you're interested in doing that, please contact us at support at sdccdonline.net. We'll be happy to work with you on that. Good luck, and we hope you find this student orientation quiz useful.